All right, so it's raining, so bear with me. But I'm going to talk about uh, Saiyan's uh, kingdom. Saiyan's kingdom and God's kingdom. So if you watch the movie The Matrix, right? You know how uh, Morpheus, he talks about um, in the red dress scene, you know. Go watch it. Go watch the scene. If you guys haven't seen it, the reason why I like talking about The Matrix is because, you know, when you give, like, worldly examples, worldly movies, stuff like that, people can understand better. And uh, so... When Morpheus tells uh, Neo that uh, that the people in the Saiyan's matrix system, their strength and their and their speed and all that is based on is based on rules. So when you're in God's kingdom, you're protected by them. You know, uh, you don't have you don't have to dodge bullets by them. You don't have to do anything because you are protected by God because you're you're no longer under Satan's rule. And I'm gonna leave a Bible verse too. I'll put it in the comments and I'll leave it in the description. Uh, we're not of the world. God lives inside of us. So if God lives inside of us, we have nothing to worry about, no, nothing to fear. But when you're in Satan's measure system, you have a lot to fear. And the minute you try to escape, you have to go through these gatekeepers. The gatekeepers are the people when you start posting the truth. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of demons, a bunch of agents, a bunch of devils hating on your comments because they're, they're gatekeepers. They still belong to Satan. Their, their father is Satan. They still belong to that kingdom. And that's when you start spreading the truth. So once you start waking up to the truth, let's say if you if you work a job, right? Your boss, your coworkers are gonna start acting differently. Even if you're not even telling them nothing, they're gonna start acting differently because the Saiyans, the the uh, the kingdom, Saiyans kingdom informs them. You know, it's all spiritual. You know, it's all spiritual. Like I said, there's an unseen world going on. So once you start to wake up and once you try to unplug, you start to leave. You gotta face agents. There's no there's no escape from this, guys. There's no escape. Especially if you live in a city, if you're if you're working a job, if you have a, a wife who isn't safe, a husband who isn't safe, a girlfriend, boyfriend, um, family, you live with family, friends, they're gonna go against you. This is just a magic system. It's real, guys. This is a hundred percent real. We have to have the full armor of God on. Pray, read your Bible fast, pray and fast. That's the most important thing. We have to understand. You're not crazy because you're aware of things, because you pay attention to things. Because you, the people, the people in the matrix, the people in Satan's kingdom, oh, you're paranoid. Oh, take medicine. Uh, uh, what drugs are you on? That's what they want you to think. They want you to think that you're crazy because they've been programmed to think a certain way by the media, by the TV, by the radio, by video games, porn, whatever, stuff like that. Social media, their friends. They've been programmed to think a certain way. But I'm, I'm, I, I ask you guys is that pay attention. When, it, when someone comes up to you and starts talking to you, pay, just pay attention. Be very aware. And not saying that you can't try you don't I mean I'm not saying that uh you know hate the person don't trust them, but just pay attention. You know, just pay attention. Not everyone not everyone's from Satan too. You know, there's some there's some good people who are in the kingdom of God. You got nothing to worry about. But what will happen, guys, is once you're in God's kingdom, is that since you're protected, you're you're you're, you're bulletproof protected. And yes, you will have to sometimes there'll also be some your old friends, they'll hit you up here and there. Uh not really. It'd be very extremely rare. But, you know, it's just a test from God anyways. And the more you pass the test, the more God rewards you. So, um, um, once you start entering God's kingdom and you escape the world, you're dead to people. Like, to, to, to Satan's kingdom, which is about almost all this whole world. This whole world is run on Satan's rules. And everyone follows Satan's rules. You know, they all of them follow. So, you're, you'll be dead to people. People will, like, you, like, you won't exist to them no more. And I always, remember how I told you guys in my old videos to my old subscribers how... I say like I'm like dead people, dead to people. It's because I belong to God's kingdom, and they are they're still in Satan's kingdom. So we can't. It's just like we can't relate or Satan get. Uh, say also, this too. When you become born again, or when you when you enter God's kingdom and you escape Satan's kingdom, hell is when uh, Satan's gonna inform his kingdom, the people in his kingdom, your friends, your family, all that, to hate you, to talk bad about you, to dislike you. To ignore you to um to just like you know just completely like you're invisible like pretty much you're like dead you're like dead to them it's, it's true. and you know saying kingdom he rewards his minions and the people in the kingdom who haven't yet entered god's kingdom by uh by temporary dopamines uh like sex uh with all girls or if you're a woman you can have sex with all men um you could you could smoke weed you could drink uh, you could do all that. You could do. You could do all types of sins, and he rewards you. But by dopamines, that's how he rewards you. But you're not. You're not going to prosper. Living your life in sin, you'll never prosper. You need to repent of your sins. And uh, so this is Satan's matrix system. 
And this needs to be talked about more. So the Matrix movie, like I said, it's created by the Fallen Angels, right? And the Fallen Angels, they'll give you a little bit of truth. But they'll never tell you the real meaning behind it, you know? They'll never tell you about God's kingdom and Satan's kingdom. They're just going to tell you about, oh, it's a system. But what system are they talking about? They're talking about Satan's matrix system. And, you know, when you're in Satan's matrix system, you're under his rule. You're under his spell. You're under the witchcraft spell. And uh, the minute you try to escape and the minute you try to wake up other people who are in Satan's kingdom, they will get mad at you. They will attack you. Um, you know, they're going to call you weird. They're going to call you crazy. They're going to say you're in a cult. Oh, you're religious now. Oh, this and that, blah, blah, blah. It's because they're still under the spell. They're still under Satan, their master. But these people are not happy. They're empty. Because I was once in Satan's kingdom. And I was never fulfilled. It was a fake life. Everything was fake. You know, I thought it was real, but everything was fake. And, you know, you're controlled. And these people, when they attack you, maybe some people, they know they, they know they belong to their master, Satan. But some of these people, they have no idea that they're being controlled by the uh, by Satan. You know, when they attack you, when they make you feel weird. You know, like I said, at your job, right? Um, you know, your boss is going to make you work extra hours all of a sudden. Your boss is going to make you do this and that. Uh, your coworkers are acting a certain way. Or when you have, like, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Um, or like a husband or wife, whatever, maybe like a spouse, uh, they're going to start acting different. They're going to start acting because Satan is informing them that you, that you're escaping or that you're ready to escape. So they're going to act a certain way. They're going to get mad at you. They're going to cast spells on you. They're going to do evil things against you. You know, so that's why I tell you guys, make sure you get, you get baptized. It, uh, get, you know, get, it's important to get baptized. Read uh, Matthew uh, 28, 19. You have to go get baptized, you know, and repent of your sins. And, um, you know, it's, it's crazy because, you know, this, I noticed that, you know, how ever since I've been on this walk with Jesus, I lost everyone. Like, I used to have hundreds of friends, no, no exaggeration. I used to have hundreds of friends and they all disappeared in my life. It's because they still belonged to Satan's kingdom. Now it wasn't God's kingdom. And I, as I, I noticed in my walk, um, you know, they all disappeared. You know, they slowly, they slowly all disappeared from my life, so... That's just how I noticed how this is all just an operated system. And as I started to wake up, I started to see, you know, all these women that I was lusting after, that I was attracted to. They were actually low-level form of prostitutes, prostitutes, you know. But when, back when I was in Satan's kingdom, I thought that was normal. I thought, that, okay, it's a beautiful woman. But that's actually a prostitute, you know. And all, all these thugs and these, and these uh, you know, these wannabe uh, gangsters, whatever they call it, whatever. They're actually feminine, and a lot of these men too. Like I, I noticed this too. I used to say anything. A lot of these men, all these men that women lust for, they're actually closet homosexuals. So you start to see the fakeness in the in Satan's matrix. People put on the front. People put on a fake image. You know, you got women putting, getting fake implants, getting putting on makeup. Ultimate deceivers. Uh, a whole bunch of things. You know, putting uh, certain poses, filters. You know, men are they're women now too. So men are doing the same thing now. So it's, it's Satan's um, uh, kingdom is fake. And once you enter God's kingdom, God will reveal to you the fakeness in the world, not just in the people, in the world. And how, you know, people, they're programmed, they're, they act a certain way. You know, these evil spirits, these demons, they all programmed to act a certain way. And so that's Satan's nature. I hope I didn't forget anything. What else is there? Um, you know, and also I'll say it again, you know, the red dress scene where, you know, Nia looks at the woman and, you know, it's a gun pointing uh, at him. You know, that's a, that's a form of distraction. It's not just women. You know, man could be a distraction too. You know, if you're following God, you know, I'm pretty sure Satan will send you like a man that you like or you like, whatever. You know, so um, he'll send, oh, Satan will send not only a woman, but uh, it's also a distraction in the form of sports, entertainment, uh, news, fake media. Uh, um, what else? Uh, um, yeah, you're, you're under all that... Uh, it's all distractions. That's what it is. Uh, video games, porn, stuff like that. That's all distractions. It's all to keep you blind. So, um, and also, you know, all these women, like I, one last thing too, Morpheus said these people are on like, pro, like MC. He said some type of chip name and he said program. And that's what happened. As, as I told you guys, people who are in Satan's matrix system, it's like they're programmed to act a certain way. But you see, you should never fear them because their, their, their strength it's all and there and, and everything about them is built on rules and Satan's kingdom. They they have no authority over us children of God. They have no authority over people who are in God's kingdom. They have nothing. So you should have nothing to fear about these people. 
So thank you guys for watching. Please, please share the video. Please like it with anyone who you know who's, uh, who's woke or someone who's seeking the truth. They will understand better. Remember, once you start to wake up from this matrix system, the gatekeepers, the agent smiths, the devils, the demons, they're gonna attack you. Whether it's in your job setting, uh, your family, your friends, uh, your girlfriend, stuff like that. I was attacked. I was thrown in a mental hospital. My mom called the cops on me five times in a month. And this wasn't, it wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't a mistake. It was Satan using her because she still belongs to Satan's kingdom. And, she, and as I was escaping, Satan got mad. So he attacked me. He used my mom to attack me. He, Satan works through people and he uses his people that's, that belong to his kingdom. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, guys.